The National Archives of Australia secures, preserves and makes available the records of the Australian Government. The National Archives collection holds more than 40 million records, including over a million video and audio tapes and films. We preserve these audiovisual records to connect all Australians with their history, their culture and identity, and the nation's collective memory. You come a waltzing, Matilda, with me. Microphones and landlines for the nationwide radio hookup were installed and ready, for technical efficiency was essential if the waiting millions were to hear the Queen's voice. I look forward to my stay here amongst you. The Natural Disasters Organisation and the State Emergency Services are bringing you this special program. Worldwide, 2025 is regarded as the critical deadline for digitising and saving audiovisual collections recorded on magnetic media. Thousands of hours of audio and videotapes are at risk and must be preserved. Expert in deportment and figure control. In such an emergency, it's very easy to forget simple rules, so don't ignore warnings and advice. Here's what can happen. The magnetic media tapes that content is recorded onto are physically deteriorating. In a few years, many of these tapes will become unplayable. Each tape format needs to be played on a specific machine, and there were dozens of formats produced over the past 70 years for both professional and amateur use. But the tape machines are obsolete. Most of them are decades old, like this half-inch reel-to-reel -reel video machine from the 1970s, or these tape decks from the 80s and 90s. Although we keep a stock of old machines as backups and for spare parts, they're way past their use-by date, and we no longer have enough experienced operators of the equipment. There is also a lack of younger people with the expertise to operate and repair the machines. It takes an old techo to fix old gear. So our challenge is to urgently digitise our range of video formats, as well as audio recordings on quarter-inch tape and different cassette formats. One, take one. But we will also continue digitising our film and film sound collection, preserving hours of precious footage from the last century of film and broadcasting. If we don't act now, these irreplaceable recordings, part of our rich audiovisual history, will become lost altogether. In our state-of-the-art facilities, our expert staff repair and stabilise these old formats before capturing the recorded content to digital files, which are then saved into our digital archive. It's a job for technical specialists. And to help get it done sooner, we also send material out to approved commercial digitisation specialists. This is the first time that an Australian Prime Minister has addressed himself on radio and television to our Aboriginal people. My deeper objective was for Aboriginal people to realise, hey listen, second class is not good enough, you know. The responsibility lies with the federal government. Mabo is an historic decision. We can make it an historic turning point. The basis of a new relationship between Indigenous and non-Aboriginal Australians. We've been planning for Deadline 2025 for years now, digitising as many of our audio and videotapes as possible. Now. Thanks to a recent boost of government funding to digitise our at-risk audiovisual material, the National Archives is now scaling up to save more of our unique film, video and audio tape content. Every item is assessed and prioritised. You come a waltzing you feel love with me. Either because of its physical state or its historical significance. 
We're working hard to save everything that needs to be saved. There's a moment you've been waiting for. The National Archives of Australia continues to ensure that our collection remains safe, relevant, and accessible for everyone. Now and in the future.